Hey guys, <clears throat> it is your Bar RPG Fans Only Show. It's been a while. I'm back, and uh, today I'll be playing Dragon's Curse for um, for the NEC, aka uh, PC Engine or Turbo Graphics 16, as this is the Turbo Graphics 16 version instead of the PC Engine. Um, because uh, uh, this is also, I think, part of the Monster World, uh, Wonder Boy and Monster World series. It started off with Bakura Man for the uh, PC Engine as well. Uh, only that game was a Japan only game, but the, I did uh, get a little trans English translation for it, so I'll play that game too to show you guys that one too. But if you're not familiar with the Wonder Boy and Monster World series, I think the Wonder, I think the Wonder Boy part uh, gets kind of removed during Monster World Part Four. Yeah, I think it's four because uh, number four has a girl in there, and it's I feel like it's a totally different game. I can't consider it a Monster World game. Um, but yeah, so we're going to start off hopefully pretty good here. Um, but yeah, for those of you that don't know about the Dragon Curse games, uh, or the M M Wonder Boy series, you can go ahead and check it out. I think it's spanned across a good amount of different consoles and platforms and shit like that. Um, this one is one of those games that kind of just throws you into the action. And then it's kind of like an adventure island game where it just pops you right into the action. You just kind of have to figure out everything for yourself, the controls and stuff like that. But um, for overall, it's it's a pretty damn good game. For uh, PC Engine being its own console, uh, it kind of reminds me of a mix between uh, Mega Drive and the SNES. But enough, uh, enough about that. Let's just actually hop into the game. And so, yeah, this is about the only dialogue you're really going to get in the game for a good majority. I'll probably give out hints throughout the game if I'm not too focused and to kind of help you guys out. If you guys ever want to play this game or playing this game, I'm going to try to play this game through. I'm going to try to play this game for as long as I possibly can. I can't uh, I can't guarantee anything. So like uh, with Adventure Island, there are one hit deaths. Um, you do have a down attack just like Yeez. You have a jump attack, and then you have a normal attack. Um, and uh, so, yeah. So when you turn around, you uh, actually do this, like, little blocking animation, um, which is pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. And uh, like I said, enemies do have one-hit deaths in this game. Um, so it only takes one hit to uh, do damage to them. And they do very little damage to you. As you can see, you have eight hearts and uh, one revival potion. And this game has momentum where you can actually, like you know, kind of slide like an adventure island. Uh, so they, they, they definitely copy uh, the two from each other. And I know that they probably collabed. And I would I would say that the Adventure Island series has a little bit to do with this game. Uh, but I think the this game came out way before then. I'm pretty sure it did. So I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't base that off of facts. So as you can see, I'll be taking a lot of damage throughout this game just for the simple fact that you have so much health it's not even like uh, really that bad. If you would have took the top platform, if you would have jumped on the spring and took the, the top platform, you would have ran into uh, some ogres, um, some really, really nasty ogres. So for this part, you just kind of want to run through and um, you just kind of want to run through and slice them all up. So these are the ogres I was talking about. And uh, when you fall, this little area right here, uh, when you, I guess, well, not I guess, I know for a fact, um, these ogre guys will take you the fuck out uh, right around here. So if they manage to knock you down this little hole, I'm just going to show it off. Fuck it. You'll get taken to right here. And these guys right here are annoying as fuck. And it just drops you right back down the hole. And now you're in a basically different area, but you still got the same uh, type of enemies here. Uh, only this time there's a door. And uh, you can't do nothing with this door yet. And so we got to backtrack. Okay, and so this game has just, it's just fucking weird. I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to throw that shit out there. This game is just weird. I'm not going to lie to you, but I mean, what can you expect from a PC Engine game? Most of them are weird. So here is the first boss. A little annoying to, to he's a little annoying to hit. Oh, shit. Yeah, because the momentum build, it's, it's, it's hard at first to do damage. God damn it. I can't seem to get my pattern. It's my joystick. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. That part. See, that's the part I fuck up on. And then he just follows you. 
Oh my god, I can't hit him right. And you have this weird, like, floaty feel to you. Ah, uh, the best way to get him. When the game stops glitching. <laughs> I think, uh... Yeah, you're supposed to get a little bit closer and duck at times like that. Unfortunately, I didn't do it, and I just... Uh, got my ass beat. But here's the dragon part of the game. So you do to actually turn into a dragon. And uh, now this place is getting fucked up. So I need to get the hell out of here. Because, uh, yeah. So the dragon has the, basically the same attacks as... Um, basically the same attacks as uh, the, no, the, the, the... I guess the, the warrior, the guy, or whatever you want to call him. Um, only that he has more range. He has ranged attacks now instead of the attacks before. Okay, we got the key. Alrighty, guys. And that is basically uh, Dragon's Curse for you. Um, watch out for falling blocks right here. They only fall once. You can't tell when when or... Can't tell when they'll fall. You just gotta kind of just base your shit on faith. Ah, between every little block and cranny, there is a stop point for you. I'm not trying to do all that shit, so I'm just going to try to jump through everything. Ah, shit. This game makes you do things like uh, go go backwards. Um, so that's a thing. Though it won't be happening very often. It happens. <laughs> Okay, we got to find a key for that. It won't be hard. Game is kind of straightforward. Like I said, it's not really uh, much this game. This game is just, uh, like I said, it's very weird. But this game is productive the way it does things. And so that's the first level. I know I was kind of all over the place with it. Um, but for a practice run, it wasn't really that bad. Oh, no, they got you. You've been cursed by the dragon. And now you're, uh, fuck you then. Don't, don't let me read you then. You need a powerful island to antidote the salamander cross. So it's pretty similar to Adventure Island. If you played Adventure Island, you, you'll feel at home at this game. You know, it'll be way too easy for you because this is way easier. Um, just knowing where to go, the navigation part of the game is probably the most difficult because you, you really don't know. Like I said, I had to backtrack, fall through a hole and backtrack. So just to get to the, the first boss and I got fucked up by him because I the controls are very like, they're very hovery, I must say. So... Now, do you wish to use the file cabinet? Yes, this would be to save. No, it is fine. I have other ways of saving the game. So we'll go around in a couple of shops. Actually, I don't want to go there quite yet. Okay, a mithril shield. 44, I don't got any gold, surprisingly. But um, yeah, you could buy armor. In your dragon state, I don't you I don't actually recall you being able to equip any armor. But uh, in your human form, you can most definitely. Um, but in your altered form, no. Oh wow. I meant to do that. Well, I'll take that. Bonus HP. Alrighty. Let me go in this room. Hop down here. And the music is good. It's actually not bad. Considering that there are worse soundtracks out there. Oh, fuck. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, Alright, so you're probably wondering if you go this way. There's nothing, so <laughs> don't do it. Uh, jumping is a little bit faster than running in this game, though. The differences are very subtle. 
Very, very subtle. All right, so this is the uh, Wonder Boy part that you remember being able to collect coins from killing off enemies. So uh, I'm glad they're bringing that back. And so, like I said, there is like this, like a uh, real, real weird, like slide. It's like a power slide, and it's fucking awkward, and it's hard to explain how to get used to it. Cause I'm gonna be real with you, you don't ever get used to this slide. I don't care how expert you are at this game. This little slide right here is just, it's, it's mind-bogglingly difficult to... And then when enemies do that to you, it makes it even harder. And he did it to me twice. He did it to me. That's that's terrible. Yeah, I knew I wasn't going to make that jump. You got to build momentum. And then uh, you basically, when you fall, you, you basically die because you get, you get overpowered by all these guys. There's nothing you can do about it. All right, so I had to use my life potion, sadly. Uh, I'm already doing pretty bad right now, sadly. Ooh. I don't really care because I know I always have troubles with this part. But uh, shit, I'm going to make the best of it. Get some free coins. Why not? Three power-ups and a whole bunch of other shit. So it wasn't as bad, I guess, uh, getting trapped down here. It had its perks. Man, I could sit here and collect coins all fucking day. Oh, you son of a bitch. So what uh, these items are I'm collecting are power-ups. And so I think... Uh, I forgot what you do to use the power-ups. I think it was... No, that's to save. God damn it, hold up. I'll save somewhere else. <laughs> I'm getting wrecked here trying to save. Uh, okay, over there. Come here. Enemies just appear too fast. And now I'm stuck. Poor game mechanics make this game very difficult, I must say. You could say it's my fault, and I wouldn't blame you, but uh, I think it's the poor mechanics of the game. So, yeah, that's Dragon Curse for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have, make sure to like, subscribe, give me some feedback, and as always, fans, till next time, bye-bye.